my name's Raymond, I'm 27, I live on the Central Coast, and I work in retail. While you're working in my position, you'll learn a lot about a lot of different things, and you meet a lot of people who have very specific interests, very niche things, and you always learn something. I mean, I think the people that I surround myself really make an impact. Um, family, friends, um, just pop culture. I think everything sort of shapes you. The, the aspects of my job I don't like are the people that are going in for the cliche things. But if someone comes in with like some, some shirts that is encapsulating what he loves and he goes and buys something that's interesting, it's just the people that are interesting stand out. I like these people, the, the, the freaks of the world. Everybody loves an underdog. And like the rebels are the underdogs of, of the world. If my money's on a rebel. Like I'm gonna be I, I'm, I'm gonna be on the same tribe as the person that wins this game. And it could be me. I want people to idolize us. I want people to idolize the um, the, the weird thinkers, the abstract people, the people that see the little cracks. At the very beginning there's Survivor. The first globalized reality TV show and I'm someone that likes their history, the things that then inspire the other aspects of life. And best case scenario is write myself into the the Survivor Legends and $500,000 is nothing to cough at. Um, I mean, that would be a life-changing amount of money. Uh, so much you can do with that. I'm a risk taker if I think it's gonna be fun. It's, it's gonna be, yeah, oh yeah, Raymond, he is a risk taker. But why did he risk doing something like that? That makes no sense. And it's gonna be funny. Even if it's gonna be miserable conditions, at least there's gonna be uncertainty. And I like uncertainty because it's not boring. I want people to underestimate me and because of that, I'm gonna be able to do things that, yeah, that, that catches them by surprise.